Oh, sorry, get the music. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. it's time yeah. to face yeah. the world. Put yeah. your yeah. hand yeah. in yeah. the air. Everyone, seriously, I can't feel it. I don't know if anyone's doing it. Welcome to the house party, everybody. How okay. And who's on the house party today? Everyone who's on the house party. I'm going to see we've got Roxy and uh, hello. Ricky and Jeff. People here. Roxy and Joe. Hello, Ricky. Hello. And Jeff, the putt. So, it takes it to look. look at Ricky all nice and smart. Made an effort. And Jeff, he's just scruffy, isn't he? Scruffy. Right, we've got to get some words. I need some words, people. I've been given some words. I need some more words. Thank you for coming with Bomb Bomb. Hi, Laura. Oh, put that word, Roddy. Put that word. Lovely. Smashing. I love that. Is that a real word, though? I mean, is that, are you just making words up? I mean, you've got to try words that we know. He's got to have a meaning. What does it mean, Bum Fuzzle? Hi, Beth. How are you, dear? Jackie Reddington and Janet. Lovely to see you. Um, I need to you can write out these words. Um, dinosaur, right? Di Thank you, Julie, for that. Afternoon, uh, Andrew. Fiddlesticks, I like that, Tim. That's a nice one. And shed. Thank you, Keith. Vapor, yeah. Mary Purple. Well done. Well done. Have we got them? Boxy Arnold has cleaned the kitchen again. That's what Fiona Hardy has said. I will find out in a minute. Well, not in a minute, because uh, let's quickly do the. Uh, the birthdays. I'm going to do the birthdays now. And the reason why I'm doing the birthdays is because, uh, again, connected to Roddy, the Banks family, I found out it's Wendy Sullivan's 60th birthday. So happy birthday, Wendy. She works in uh, a doctor's reception, so she's one of those people get shouted at because no one can get an appointment. Always love talking to those type of people. But doctor receptionist and love from all the Banks, Jackie's sister and uh, Rob's. Rob's auntie. So all the Banks clan wishing Wendy Sullivan a happy 60th birthday. Um, it's the 14th. 14 years old is Henry. Henry is 14, so a big happy birthday to you. I believe Henry's a Man City fan. Or I do know. I do know he was going off to uh, the uh, – he was supposed to go to the Etihad this weekend. So surely, I mean, you know, I don't know who they were playing. I would have found out, but – I hope it's not Man City because really, seriously, Henry, that's not proper sport, is it? Um, Linda Thomas, uh, his birthday tomorrow. And I'm not in tomorrow because we've got the uh, the quick Zoom chat with Nigel and all the staff. So uh, I'm not actually in. So I'm going to say happy birthday. Lillian Ruffles birthday. I've rang her today. And Lily's 84 today. I talked to Norman as well. Um, they're getting the two – they're, they're – on the road, uh, Lily used to come to all our sports breaks, and she was in charge of the badminton, the short tennis, and of course, Jeff. Where's Jeff the poet? Bring him on! Bring him on! Hello, Jeff the poet. Lily, Lily's birthday today. That's I how I met you. Took over from it, didn't I? Yeah. Oh well, that's like you retired, though, really, Jeff. Is that she was so old, wasn't she? Well, 84, she actually used to sit there telling you what to do. So I know. I suppose you could have put it like that. Jeff, have you stepped up today for this occasion? No. No, I've noticed that, mate. So what are you wearing? I've got a jumper on. I've got a jumper on. Yeah, lovely. She, um, and, of course, talking about Lily, Tracy, the daughter, does Tracy's travels, doesn't she? And we've even been on holiday with Tracy. Not with Tracy. You have. Yeah, but yeah. Exactly. Yeah, but travel. Very good. Yeah, of course, but obviously the business is pretty slow now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Very. Oh. Not sure what she's going to be doing. Um, there are birthdays. Chris Island, happy birthday. Connor Bat, uh, Vincenzo, that's our Italian friend. Linda Neal, 68. Dana Palmerston, Mike Wallace. All to you, a great big happy birthday. Everyone, oh, Lily's sister's 80. Isn't that weird? She's 80 today on the day that Lily was 84. How did someone plan that, sort of plan that as a... As a well... That is clever planning, isn't it? Only once a year by the sounds of it. Right. Now, we got sent some words, and I'm going to read some out. I'm going to pick 10. Oh, yes, Brother yes. sent a word, and he said, can you have... Paul Edworthy, he sent a word into Mike. Can, he have, can I have that word? Because he hasn't told me what it is. No. So, 
We've got a look for it. Paul Edgeworthy. Edgeworthy. Right. He said it's a white Oh, it was Paul. Yes. I don't know what it means. We've got something in front of your face, Jeff. Oh, that's my finger. <laughs> <laughs> you are such a dear. Now, uh, Paul's, there it is, bum fuzzle. Write it down. What does it mean? I don't know. I mean, why is this? They're making up words. Your own. I mean, making a word up. I've never liked him. I've never liked him. <laughs> I, can, I can believe that. He's a preacher, isn't he? He's a, he's a pastor. Yeah, that's what he never is. Never trust a pastor. So, he's a pastor. Yeah. <laughs> Let me have a look at these words. Write them down. Bubbles. Yeah. And there's hammers with that, so I don't know whether you want to put them together. Scrabble. Scrabble. Yeah. Uh, rain came in. Oh, wait a minute. Bum fuzzle. Bum fuzzle is to confuse or fluster. Well, that's you all over. You're a bum fuzzle. Well, that's, actually, that's why I talk. <laughs> I talk bum fuzzles. Uh, oh, actually, bum fuzzles <laughs> makes it even better. It is typically used in informal conversations. Hope that's uh, all right for you. Now, Joe Ringer came up with gusset. I did laugh for that. I don't know why, why he came up with that word. Well, he's in a relationship now, and he probably sees more of them. Yes. <laughs> Proper, proper relationship. Now, Joe's in love, aren't he, Roxy? Yes, they are. Uh, but we also had fiddlesticks from the Tina, T Tim, I think. And it was Tim or Tina. Yeah. We had a dinosaur. Yep. And uh, Janet Ray said numpties. What was? Numpties. Numpty. Numpties. Yeah, numpty. it's, it's like a Norfolk thing. Yeah, you numpty. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's a Norfolk sign. Um, how many have we given you? Do you want numpties or numpty? Well, I th it says numpties here. That's eight I've had so far. Yeah. I can't give Jason Perry's. <laughs> he's have a you mate. read it? Well, he's Supposedly. He's a yeah, it's supposedly. Christine Sutcliffe said uh, bluebells. Bluebells. Yeah. No. Nah. And Mark Woodward said hullabaloo. Hullabaloo. Right. right. So write them down. Put hullabaloo. How Are you okay? Hullabaloo? Yeah. I'm really, hullabaloo. Pleased, I'm really pleased you didn't say purple because that's really hard to rhyme with. I know. I, I, funny enough, I thought of that and I thought no. <laughs> uh, did you do the quiz yesterday, Jeff? I did. 46. Thank you, Julie. That's high. 46. We've done all right. There was a lot yeah. of us. We was FaceTiming across three families in three different houses. See, that's how you need, how you did it. Lots of people were trying to talk While to each other the telly. and watching it on the it's, it's It's a strange <laughs> world we're in, isn't it? Watching me on your TV. But that is scary. Oh, it, it's, it can be. Yes, I mean, Smith said I love the quiz. Jeff, I won't talk to you because right. you need, you've need you got a lot of work. I need time. <laughs> you will need time. I think you'll be... Right. Uh, and if you don't I'll make it, Jeff, if I'll you don't make it, Maybe people won't weeks. like people won't like you not getting it right, Jeff, not doing it. <laughs> All right, no worries. See you later, Jeffrey. Bye Take bye. care. Man. So, with that in mind, um, yes, watch again from work, <laughs> Christy. Why do you? How do you get away with it? How do you do it? Do you have it like it little ear things? Are you listening in your earphones? Someone's. Christine was on your own, and you got thirty-one out of fifty. Christine, well done, babe. Well done. That's more than I would have got. I don't think I would have got to the 30s. I'm going to talk to uh, our people, um, Joe and Roxy, great friends. We're going to have a proper conversation with them. Old pals, Roxy, the beautiful Roxy Arnold, Joe <laughs> Ringer, partner, in love. Can you see how close they are now? They weren't like that last year. Wouldn't have been like that, would you, Joe? No. <laughs> last year, um, I hope so. But, yeah, yeah you're going to go now. Yeah. So, Roxy, you're from Essex. You you joined us with I another. Am. You joined us with a bloke called Chris. But should we not talk about that? <laughs> what a great start! I know. <laughs> I don't, you know how I could just go straight in for it. Yeah. And, yeah, it's what it is. But yeah, he was a Welshman who was had yeah awkward moment. But I thought you were going to say something else beginning with W. Then yes, that's how you <laughs> thought of him. That's what you thought of him. But. <laughs> But the point was, you came as a duo, and uh, and you were fantastic. Chris was okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with Chris, but he was okay. But you know, 
And then it was almost like he went back to his wife. I don't want to talk about that side. It's what, you know, it's, they need to know these things, Joe. People need to know them. And, and then we said, Roxy, come. Come and do it yourself. And you have been fantastic doing our, most of our late nights, even doing songs with the Divas in the show, doing shows with Joe. You've been doing a Wednesday, some Wednesday yeah. night with Joe. And uh, is that where you met Joe, at Potter's? Yeah, the first time I met Joe while I was with Chris, actually, the first time. Oh, yeah. Um, and I thought he was a Michael Bublé tribute. I caught the concerto yeah, show. Yeah, thanks for that. Yeah. And I was like, oh, we need a Michael Bublé tribute. And he was a bit funny, wasn't he? He went, no, very harshly. And it kind of huh. blossomed from there. Yeah, something like that. So, so, and, thank you. My wife just walked in shopping. Thank you. Christine Mostine Blair has just said, I love Roxy. There's a lot of people who love it. I love it. And uh, Joe, of course, you actually did a, did a season with a the theatre company. I mean, a whole season, didn't you? When we lost, what, who did, was it? Did you not replace Sean for a while? Oh, um, yeah, yeah. So I filled in for Sean for some bits and pieces. I think he went away on a cruise for a little while. Yeah. In. So I was sort of a budget Sean. Um, yeah. for, it, for a little while until he came back. And he yeah, of course. Me of course. And then, of course, yeah, but in real truth, you were fantastic. I mean, like, you know, Sean's big boots to fill, and you actually just yeah. stepped yeah. in. And so fantastic. And of course, that's when we first sort of met Joe Ringer. Um, you've done lots of uh, late nights as well, with including with Roxy and doing stuff. And of course, Joe. I've even watched the Joe Ringer show at the Norwich Theatre Royal where Roxy was in it. Even Roddy, he was like, say hello to you. Hey. Oh, yeah. Hey, Roddy. <laughs> Roddy's one of your backing singers as well. And uh, so... Yeah, we'll take anybody. <laughs> so let's let's talk. Firstly, Roxy, you was an X Factor, wasn't you? Oh, yeah, coming up to 10 years ago now. Should get a picture of it. So that, what, no. what, what, was that 18, 16? Yeah, 18, I must have been. 18. 17, 18. Oh, what, you're 28 now. 28, Ross. Yeah. That's I good. Know. I know. I must have been 24 when I started Potters. So. Yeah. Yeah, four years ago. So much in six years. But how was the X Factor? I mean, how did you get on? Did you get into what? This, any semi finals? No? Uh, no, I just got to boot camp. Then I got, well, got the boot, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> out. Yeah. But it was good. It, it was a. I think being 18 or 17 or whatever I was, it was a very interesting experience. I don't know if I was quite ready for it at that age. No. Um, but then as well, social media wasn't what it was back then. So I guess I probably had an easier ride than I would have if I did it now. Um, yeah. And I've never really had the want to do it again. So I no. enjoyed it for what it was. <laughs> the experience, isn't it? A little bit of experience. Yeah. Also, I mean, to be honest, Leanne Mitchell only got to boot camp, didn't she? She never got past boot camp. And then she went, went and won The Voice, didn't she, Leanne? Yeah. Exactly. I was on the wrong show. That's what? it. <laughs> that is it. Wrong show. <laughs> no, she, but she did do boot camp in X Factor, but uh, didn't get through. I didn't know that, actually. Yeah, that's, I'm just pointing those things out. And, Joe, you said, uh, I mean, you've got a big band now. I mean, you're big yes. bad. And for those unaware, everybody, Joe, uh, not Roxy, because she was supposed to be working, but Joe was my big band. My big band at the South End Pavilion, Joe. I was really oh, looking I forward to it. I was really looking forward to taking over and doing the conducting. I had plans for that <laughs> band. <laughs> it's gutted me that we're not doing it in June. But at this moment, um, they've given me other dates. Um there's an official date, and there's dates they might bring it sooner if uh, we get the all clear. And let's face it, it's all about um, when when are going to let theatres open? I mean, we don't know how long that's going to be. Joe, how are you coping with uh, work work? I'm all right. I mean, um, sadly, all of my work, as with Roxy and as with all entertainers, is all sort of stopped. Yeah. Um, the normal kind of work we do anyway. So we're all sort of trying to adapt and evolve a little bit as much as we can. Um, so um, I've taken to uh, actually running an online quiz night a couple of nights a week. So that's sort of my full time job at the minute, which yeah. is uh, which is he, he takes it very seriously. Of course, <laughs> of course he would. Of course he would. And I've even had a go on one of those those. I know how you go on. I was disastrous. I just did not know anything <laughs> about Harry Potter. I was thinking like. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, you did that one, didn't you? Yeah, so we do sort of some random quizzes and then we do some specialist ones and that's cool. And then we've just started doing um, a live Saturday night thing from uh, sort of a lovely pub up the road. So we've been in there obviously on our own on Saturday night, uh, streaming it to all our followers on the, the band. Oh, page. Cool. It's all going really well. We're just, just sort of trying to muddle through, but we're staying positive. Hopefully the yeah. end is in sight. And um, yeah. yeah, we'll be through soon singing to all you lovely people again. All we know. Oh, well, we, 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 I, I think it's scary. I think it's very scary because um, we, we've all adapted very quickly. And, and likewise, you went very quickly to do, let's do a quiz, let's earn a tiny bit of money. Roxy, what do yourself? I mean, you had you had a really busy summer this year, didn't you? You was doing, th you was going uh, cruising. You was planning to go with um, Matey Bum, what's his name? Um, George Dink. Boy George, I'm trying to think. I was thinking of a hat. Boy George, tell us what what was the, how did you get involved with Boy George? Um, it's just through one of my friends. Actually, I went to uni with my friend uh, Van Gelis, who actually did who did the voice when Boy George was on it, and um, cool. he continued to work with Boy George, and they were looking for another singer, and he called me in, and I kind of just managed to stick around somehow. But yeah, yeah. we actually and had a gig couple of weeks before we went into lockdown at the O2 and that would be my first time performing there and that got cancelled so that was a bit of a shame but hopefully these all things will just happen at a later date but yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean you've done some concerts with him haven't you because uh yeah you about him but I mean what yeah, is yeah. He like, boy George he did, oh he's lovely he's so funny he's got such a dry sense of humor yeah. um but yeah he's just really easy going as well he's got no like airs and graces about him he's just really normal and you just I felt really um comfortable around him from from the beginning really so um yeah we did car fest this summer which was amazing oh um, yeah thousands of thousands of people there how um, great we done a lot of private charity gigs as well when I, I done loads of recording um with him as well but yeah hopefully things will get back up and going and what, were they were there were there some new songs he was doing? Was he bringing new songs to the equation, or was it all his old ones? Well, he re he actually released an album about maybe a year and a half to more, maybe a bit more than that now, maybe two and a half years ago. Um, yeah. But he's always recording new music. He's in the studio all the time, which is the stuff that I was working on, oh, right. um, doing the backing vocals for that. But he's he's constantly writing new material, so he's really yeah. talented. Yeah, yeah. You forget these things. I mean, this is a guy you probably. Even some people wouldn't even think about Boy George as a, you know, he goes out there and, and he's, as you rightly say, a really talented man. It's funny, he's actually, I think he's much bigger than, in America than he is actually here. He seems to have a really huge following out there. I mean, I think he's known here for more of like the antics and the, yeah, and maybe. his character, you know, whereas out there he's really known for his music and really like well respected. But um, yeah, he, he's great. Yeah. Try and listen to some of his new stuff if you can. It's, it's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, I will do. Joe, do you write music, mate? I mean, you've got. I mean, uh, if no, I don't, I, mean, I don't write originals. I do. I do a lot of arranging for the band, so I do a lot of writing for the, the you know orchestrations, yeah. the writing for all the different instruments and that. So that's my sort of musical thing, yeah. really. And um, obviously, during lockdown, we've been trying to record um, some isolation lockdown videos using our different uh, musicians and singers and everyone. So. Yeah. We just did one featuring over 50 of us uh, from all yeah. their separate locations. We brought that together. So, yeah, you know, we're just trying to stay creative through these times. I think it's really important, mm. you know, to keep creativity flowing so we can do it in real life again. Cut my mic or what? No, you're right. Oh, um, <laughs> I'm talking to Roddy there. I was just, look, he just sort of said something and I didn't know what it I, um, I Wasn't Roddy supposed to be in that? He never put him in it. Roddy was in it. Roddy, was you in it? There was no picture know. of you, Roddy. I don't know, Joe, but I'm going to go and look at that video and see if Roddy was in that. Roddy's in it. No? I'm sure Roddy's in it. Yeah. I'll have a look because obviously he must have been very tiny. I'm literally about this big in the whole thing. Yeah, I know. I'm only teasing. I barely made the cut. Don't they all, but... It, did you did it find how hard that was to get all those people together and mix it and get that? I mean, that in itself was a, is a huge achievement. Yeah, the hardest thing is just like keep bugging people and trying to get all the stuff off of them because obviously everyone's doing different things. But, oh. you know, everyone was really keen to um, 
everyone's really keen to bring it together. And it's, the yeah. reaction has been so lovely. It's been such nice um, comments from people saying, you know, it's put a smile on their face and brightened up their day and had them dancing around. And that's what it's there for, really, you know, just just to put some good vibes out there in the world. Hi, Colin and Val, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> Hi, Colin and Val. Well, we've seen messages, but we don't want to interrupt anyone. But Christine says, Sam, we've got to show up longer to get your act together. Someone's taking the mickey about that, Christine. It was I I, 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 mean, think, I think we're talking to you, Mark. <laughs> oh, we're about to get my act together. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> she does it. Actually, talking about our show in South End, did you know um, I got told that we had to have a, um, a sign, a deaf person sign language? Really? Yeah, we got on the side of the stage. On the side of the stage, we have to provide, a, we've got to provide. Um, so I found that quite sort of like, and, they, and so they asked me, what, uh, can you send me a script and what, what's going on? And I just laughed. <laughs> Listen, the band don't know what I'm doing, let alone what I'm going to do. <laughs> no idea. So it will be an interesting <laughs> exercise when we get back to South End Pavilion. And, and the, you know what's going to happen. All the guests think I've, I've, I've set someone up, think it's a joke. I mean, all that, yeah, 1,600 <laughs> people going like, yeah, Mark's going to do something with him or her or whoever it is. I mean, like, we've got to find someone. So <laughs> I just found that sort of like someone saying to, you know, what's your script? Seriously? We're going we're gonna to have the, the, the theatre manager going like, cut, we're trying to do the interval. Stop. Stop talking. We want to get off. You know it's going to be that. And then like, at the end of the show, they're saying, when is the end? <laughs> so who yeah. knows? Never. Albeit, I think they're going to need paying well, aren't they? Albeit, Joe, you did say um, he was quite organised when we had a little chat about what we're going to do. But that's scrap now, Joe. Brilliant. <laughs> I, I mean, it's, I, I'm trying to keep you in check, if anything. <laughs> you are. You are. It, Mark's it, going, I want to do this, and I want to do this, and we could do this, and this, and we could do this, and this. This, this gets and half an yeah, hour. Before you know it, we're, about, we're up to about six hours run time. <laughs> yeah. It could be a Ken Dodd moment where no one, no one just brings packed lunches and they all just sit in and eat. No, I just want to make sure I haven't missed because Nikki Hughes said, Roxy and Joe, fantastic. Regards your show, lovely. I'm late, hello. Hi, Roxy Val and uh, Linda Much. Oh, Nicola okay. Cox. I Nic promised her if we're not back to normal, I'm going to sing a live um, on a house party for her birthday. So I'm saying oh, it live. Yeah. Yes. If it doesn't, if we're not back to normal, it's someday in June, I think, or July. Well, there's so Nicola. I I'll sing, I'll sing for a birthday. Videos, quizzes. Thank you, Nicola. And also, uh, there was Bill there just before that saying that he's, he's watching from Spain. Oh, oh very nice. Actually, Mark, I'm doing singing online singing lessons at the minute. I'm teaching five people from Texas. No. In a, in a, <laughs> how do I know of you? Just because I put a post online and somehow we must have a, a mutual friend somewhere from cruising or something. Yeah. Um, and I taught this woman and her son and she recommended me and I've, now I'm teaching five people from Texas. So it's, it's funny with the time <laughs> difference, but uh, yeah, yeah well, it's, it's, it's yeah, awesome. Mean, yeah. Fun, good things. Yeah. What time are you getting up to do that then? Three o'clock in the morning or something? Well, they're high, thank God. So when it's about, I, I usually teach them when it's about four o'clock this time. So it's about 10 a.m. their time. Oh, well, so. so you do catch it. Yeah, yeah it's better for me. <laughs> anyway, look, Janet Race has said, what a lovely, interesting chat. I was hoping to hear you sing, but you can hear, if anyone's listening, you can hear it's, it goes a little bit bubbly. So can we plan something that we uh, you can send us and we'll play it? We'll yeah. play it. I'll be that if you've, got any requests, if you've got any requests for anything, put it down um, in the comments and we'll have a look through. And we'll well, do if you like a like, duet, yeah. you mean? Like, you're talking like... Yeah. You know, like yeah, and then we'll sing a little duet. Uh, we'll, we'll send it over so you can put it out maybe next end of this week or next week. Yeah. Joe, you sing absolutely every type of music. I've heard you sing West End and sing, as you say, Buble. Um, what's your favourite type of music, Joe? I don't know, really. I love okay. anything. I love all music. There's, I just, yeah, I just enjoy singing. I think that the, um, the important thing is like singing, just try and do justice to the song you're singing, whatever style it is. Just yeah. try and you know, just try and do it properly. <laughs> well, you, season you, of love. Yeah, something stupid from Lynn Hawker. You know, oh, I said earlier, that earlier, but actually, with that song, the problem is I never quite know the words, so I end up reading 
Joe's mouth as he's singing and try and get the same words out at the same time. But good request. Let's see if we can do that one. <laughs> Guys, um, obviously, Roxy, we love you dearly. And um, you might find that you might be doing the South Dublin Village show now. You're not doing your cruising. No, yet. Yes. what's happened? It meant to be. <laughs> yeah, it was something that's Oh, we miss you, Mark. Um, you are fabulous. I really did enjoy your Norwich Theatre show. I was really Claire's there. Hey, Claire. I was so looking forward to seeing you come on board at the South End Pavilion. We will get there eventually. Um, yeah. Yeah. Modern Sky to all of you. We're going to say goodbye to the beautiful Roxy Arnold and the Hi wonderful guys. Claire Ringer. Take Take uh, and I never put, I never mentioned how lovey dubby. I could have brought the lovey dubby bit up, couldn't I? Ray Mitchell, welcome to our lounge. Did I win the suit last night? Ray, that suit don't fit me. Have you seen your size? It's not, it should fit all. It won't fit all, Raymond, though. How did you get on, Ray? What was your, what was your score, mate? Um, and we're trying to find the high score because obviously the high score is going to get a prize. Pauline Kimmon says, nice to see you, Roxy. And Joe, as uh, we all want, love to see them. Now, this is interesting because Jeff the Poet's not back. So he's actually probably really struggling on his poem, which gives me a chance to meet Ricky Story and Maggie Story. Uh, Rick, hello. hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not scared. I'll just let me a cup of coffee, mate. All right. So, hello. You are the best dressed guest we've ever had, Ricky. Ricky. <laughs> And for those, once again, saying, Ricky Story, I know the name, I know the name. Ricky, yes. you came to us, what? Uh, Can you explain, yes. 30, 34, 33 years ago, you came to yes, Potter. Yes, I had hair. I met, I met you. Yeah, you did have ginger hair. It was beautiful, wasn't it? You were <laughs> looking there. Rick. And you was a lifeguard. I first met you at St Mary's Bay in Brixham. Those were the days, mate. Those were the days. Yeah. I, I, Are we live? Yes. Oh. It, it was great days. And um, and then, of course, you moved into a penthouse with me. We shared a penthouse together with my <laughs> first wife, didn't we? Yeah. Can you just explain there was other people as well as us two? All right. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're yeah. sort of saying how well we got on in those days. And, we did. Uh, you moved yes. into the penthouse. You you actually um, can't say too much because probably Carol might be listening. But <laughs> first wife. That, uh, <laughs> but you were very fitness. Obviously, you was completely mad about your fitness, and you yeah. made me, made me run down all the the top of the pen, uh, all the way run down, all the way down to Brixham, and we went into the harbour and we ran all the way back, and it killed me, didn't it? <laughs> It did, yes. We did it every yes. day, and I just laughed at it. But I did try, didn't I? And that's when I could actually do it. Julie oh, Hicks is saying, I remember. remember. Hello, Julie. Hello. That's yeah. And that's Peggy and Les Forecast. I don't know if you remember all that family. But Ricky, in your time, mate, yes, life, mate. you was obviously lifeguard. There was a period when uh, I left Potters. Multi -talented. I, I was multi-talented, all right? Well, that's an opinion. It's an opinion that some people might not get. But <laughs> yes, thank you, mate. Oh, oh, OMG, Paula Orts is just realising it's Ricky the lifeguard. Hello. <laughs> Hello. And, and Ricky, you had a party piece, Nelly the Elephant. We had many, had many. Well, what was the other party piece then? Because I can't remember the other party piece. Well, what we on about uh, uh, potters sort of. or pontins or what? Yeah, well, you can give them both to me. I only, I only remember you singing Nelly the Elephant. What was the yeah. other one that you sang I, then? Well, Potter, Delilah. New York. Oh, yeah, of course. New York. New York. New York. Yeah, um, I made up my own words, didn't I not? Well, no, it hello, wasn't Katrina. Katrina is saying hello. You, hello. you actually used to bring the words on with you. I did, yeah. I, I, you know me. I don't reverse, rehearse. I'll just, I'll just go with the flow. Like you, mate, just go with the flow. I mean, it's not to me. This is new to me because I'm not. I'm not into techno, am I? No, but, no, no. We had to ask Maggie, your missus. Where are we? This is this is my phone there. Yeah, that's yeah. me. That, that's modern to me. All right. Oh, of course. That's it. Me. Lucky yeah. you've got a wife called Maggie. Who you met at Potter's? Yeah, hi, did, yeah. Hi, yeah, hi. yeah. Hi. Sixty-two Maggie. years we've been together. Sixty-two years, and I'm stuck. That's what I've got no air for. Thank you. Two? Yeah. 
How can you be that, Ricky? I was with you. I'll take the tablets. Yeah, you, you are. You are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, so Mick, Maggie used to work in the bars, didn't she? And, uh, she used to, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. And she was cash she was she count all the money Potter's made as well. Yeah, the cashier. Um, yeah. And then uh, you left us. Mark Barney shouting, please. <laughs> yeah, those were the down. days. <laughs> if you're on a meltdown, say no. <laughs> Actually, you probably could get away with it, Rick. You probably could. <laughs> because quite honestly, it's it sounds bad on here with this, so people won't realise how bad you are. They'll just they'll blame the internet and think that's how bad your Nelly the right. Elephant was or Delilah. Um, it's your fault. So look, when you yes. left us, you went to be a postman. I did. Yes, I was. Uh, can I just say uh, yeah. a big, a big hi to all the posters today and all the retired ones because I'm a retired man now. Because you know, as you as you do now, everyone's doing a good job. All the key workers. Well done. You're doing a good job. People, Paul is saying, surely we have a photo of Ricky back in 1983. Surely, is Ricky. That or, is that in my speedos or we at my speedos? Yes. yes. Obviously, with your speedos. That's Paula Ault. She'd want to see the speedos, wouldn't she? <laughs> <laughs> I'll got, she? I've still got my whistle, by the way. I've still got my whistle. You kept your whistle. I've still got my whistle, yes. Oh, yeah. no. But we... we <laughs> We had so lots of fun, and one of the things that we used to do with you was the rambles. Oh, I and, used to love the um, ramble. And I, yeah. say, and I used to say, Ricky, go into that field, and then when we yeah. go past, start shouting at us. And I used to say, uh, excuse me, everyone, someone yeah. gets really, we have to be really careful. This is where the, uh, the um, naturalists are, and they're all naked in there. And suddenly yeah. you start <laughs> shouting, get stand up, totally naked, of course. I mean, <laughs> I don't think yes. any, any of the guests could believe that, <laughs> yeah. that it's actually they think that you'd have pants on, but no, yes. no, he had no uh, he'd have totally naked. Happened and, at all, no. Uh, and did you know I went to uh, I had to go not to court, but I had to go to um head office, Pontin's head office about that. Right. That did I would you? let I'd organize a naked man in a field and take people past the naked man. I, I know you just say I don't think they were upset about it. Well, I know. if you remember, though, that uh, one Sunday, so, uh, someone complained and two policemen come around the corner beyond the bushes <laughs> and, they, and they told me to put my clothes back on. <laughs> you you, you yeah. lot scarped away, left me on my own. Of course we did. Of yeah, thanks a lot, mate. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, anyway, so there we are. Um, call Sky, Mum. Can you get Sky? Oh, right. So, Ricky, you are here because because we wanted uh, to find someone who's probably not smarter than Claire Gibson. And you came to mind that surely Claire Gibson's title of the worst ever, because it's children's questions. These yeah. are 10 questions. Yeah. You can time it if we can. We'll yeah. get a time out. And because uh, you might be a miracle, you might know them all and beat Jeff the Never know. Colin Reynolds also got eight, but he did it in one minute 15. Surely nobody's worse than Claire Gibson. This is the point. You have 10 questions. Right. These are what children would know, Rick. Yeah. And don't hesitate. Some people start thinking, I don't mind going back to something if you say, right, can I go back to that? But right. here we go. Get ready. This is what you hear. OMG, Alison Jenkin Weingarten said, oh, we love Ricky the lifeguard. See, Hello, Rick? Alison. Yes, I'm ready. Yeah, here we go. Oh, this is it then. Listen to Sky, yep. starting from now. Which bird lives in a rookery? Which what? A bird. Lives in a rookery. In a rookery. Oh, That's going to be bird with feathers. Yeah. yeah, it's quick, Rick. It's quick. Yeah, I'm ready. What yeah, is what? Harry Potter's middle name? What's Harry Potter's middle name? I don't know. I don't watch Harry Potter. Could be George. Right, go on. Then. Say George. Yeah. What type yeah. of food do penguins eat? They eat fish. Yes. By did. area, which is the largest state in the USA? That's got to be California. Okay. Well done. Where is the smallest bone in the human body? That's got to be your ear. Yes, he's got two. Which of Snow White's seven dwarves wear glasses? 
Which one? That's got to be Doc. I like Snow White. Yeah, Doc, yeah. Which is the largest desert in the world? The largest desert. It's got to be yeah. Sierra because there's loads of sand. Close enough. Close enough. In Great Britain, in which month does the longest day occur? In what? June. In Great June. Britain. Yeah. Maggie, we heard that, Maggie. What was Beethoven's yeah. first name? There's what? What was Beethoven's first name? Uh, I don't know. He was deaf. <laughs> but what's I his name? It was to do with it, but in deaf. In which country is the Louvre Museum? In the world? Louvre. The Louvre, mate. That sounds German. French. Perfect. Perfect. French. No, I spoke French, Dan. <laughs> Too late. You said German. <laughs> Did I? All right, then. How'd it go, then? Well, it's a hell of a surprise, but yeah. this shows you have how bad... Have a bit clear. Oh, I've got five. Blimey. Got five. Longest time. But I have to say, you took the longest time... You kept repeating all the questions back, and Dad was speaking as well. Yeah, I couldn't hear. I haven't got my hearing aid in, that's why. <laughs> it switched... My hearing aid switched off. Right, so just to confirm... A, yeah. The bird that lives in a rookery is yeah. rook. a crow. A rook. A rook. Well, a crow's a rook, isn't it? <laughs> no. James. No. Oh, yeah. Harry Potter's middle name was? James, which is his dad's name as well. Dad's name. Uh, I don't watch Harry Potter. You did say you had a really bad start. Alaska. Yeah. The USA, the largest area was Alaska. Someone... I said that. No, you, no, you said California, which is a little bit further away than Alaska, Rick. Got oh, it. Got Doc, got Sahara. Got You've got you. Doc, Sahara. Mm -hmm. Beethoven's yeah. last name. You Little got a little Beethoven. help from Maggie for June, didn't you? We heard that. <laughs> we heard that. I've got to describe it. And what Does that it? count? Beethoven was... Ludwig. Yeah. Ludwig. Ludwig. I knew Ludwig. I knew that, but I didn't like to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, perhaps you should have done it, Maggie, but there you are. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. it then. So, look, Ricky, you've yes, got mate. somehow you got five. I think you've yeah. probably got four, but officially, you are smarter than Claire Gibson. Well, thank you. Hard luck, Claire. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, she's oh. at Morrison's at this moment oh, doing uh, my shopping, and that's Mummy Linda. So, how many, did, how many did Claire get? She got two. Oh, two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, you can see how bad she was. Really. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, look, Ricky, I'm going to say thank you for coming on to speak to us. How many children would you say, Ricky, you um, taught to swim? Oh, loads, mate. Loads. Yeah, loads. So that, no. it's, no, loads isn't a number. Yeah. No, I, I was a, I was a lifeguard. I went in the water and taught. I'm not out the water. Yeah, you was in yeah. the water teaching children. I was in the water. Yes, I was a water baby. Women, well, I don't um, know a lot of a lot of little ones, and I hopefully they're still swimming now. I hope so. So in the end, really truthfully, you didn't give me any figures there. You just went loads. So I did <laughs> loads, which which covers a wide area. Yeah. Did you not know? Yes. Yeah. It would have been nice for you to give me a nice figure, but I would have said at least a couple of hundred, wouldn't it? I would say a lot. Oh, look. Alison. Martin. Brother Martin, yes. Brother Martin. Hello, Martin, yes. See, it just shows you the valuable value. Now, you can't do post. You actually retired because oh, you uh, yes. but, No, but you retired because you got injured. Your shoulder has gone, isn't it? You've lost your shoulder. I've got, new, I've got one new shoulder and one nearly new shoulder. And sort that's of. Is that carrying the sack, you mean? No, nah, no, nah, just wear and tear, you know. Wear and what? tear, mate, that's all it is. I, I'm still fit, though. I'm still doing my exercises. Well, that's something that I don't do. <laughs> yeah, I can do one press-up now with two hands. Yeah, well, there we are, mate. I'm going to say I'm gonna say goodbye to you then, mate. All the best, mate. Merry Christmas and hope to see you next year. Ricky and Maggie, <laughs> take care. Bye. Bye. Take care, mate. Yeah. Bye. It was lovely to meet him yet again. Nice. Jeff, the poet. Yes. How long was you finished? Have you just finished or you... Uh... No, a little while. So read out the words you've got to, to put your poem to. Um, we've got bum fuzzle. Bum fuzzle, yeah. Bubbles. So I can't hear that. What's that? Mean? Bubbles. Oh, yeah. Bubbles, Hammer. yeah. Hammer, yeah. Scrabble. Scrabble. Gusset. Mm-hmm, good word. Fiddlesticks. 
What was that one? Fiddlesticks. Oh, yeah, fiddlesticks in the fields. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Numpties. Numpties. Bluebells. Bluebells. Hullabaloo. Okay. So let's how you see how you got on then, Jeff. Right, hold on. Let me see if I can get this thought. Can you hear me? Can everyone hear me? Yeah, yeah we can hear you. Right. So this is it. This is your challenge. You've had your 10 words. We've all heard the 10 words. Now we need a poem to see if you can do it. And I think you've been 35 minutes, haven't you? 30 minutes? 35 minutes you've took to do this. About that, yeah. Yeah, let's see how you get on then. Hold on, let me just delete a line that I've got, forgot I put in there. <laughs> You're ad-libbing a little bit, aren't you? Making it up. Right, you ready? Go on, then. It's corona, corona madness. Right. It started with a mild cough. Maybe a sneeze or two. Who would have guessed it's a virus that's caused such hullabaloo? Got a good one. Starting to panic. What was that word? Can you hear it? Making crap. He's cut. He needs to go start to panic. Jeff, can you hear me? Oh, he's he's deliberately chucked. Jeff, you're frozen, mate. You're frozen. You need to start again. Can't hear Can't it. Hear him. Can't hear it, Jeff. It's gone. You have to restart. Stop it and we come. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you cold, James? Mark, it's really cold. It's raining, and yeah. I've got the cold. Oh no! How did you get your cold? Who did you get that from? I got kicked out last night. Kate left me in the shed. <laughs> No, I wondered who was in my shed. That's, that's that little movement. You've moved all the way up into my little shed, haven't you? Oh, uh, very cold. Is there anyone can feed me hot soup, blankets, and somewhere to stay? Oh. <laughs> I'll just check it because you won't believe it. You might get offers in a minute. To... Mark, your quiz last night was brilliant. Did you watch it? I did. I thought it was fantastic. It, it was really did as if you was at Potters. You and Nigel were brilliant. And I'm very proud to say that you're two, my two best friends. And I love you. <laughs> you are so bad, James. You are so bad. I, You never got one correct answer, though, did you? I did try. <laughs> I didn't realise that you have to use the letters to make, obviously, the, um, the word. Yeah. <laughs> the Kardashians, yeah. Janet Ray said, Sky, enjoyed hearing you sing this morning. Oh, thank you. There she is. Yes. Oh, Sky, can I say your grace was beautiful, hopelessly devoted, was beautiful. Thank you so much. I am just going to plug it. So if you haven't seen the video, it should be on the Brewer's House party page. So we're going to post. So you Please can just feel link. free to share and love. You can link it and watch it on YouTube, yes? Thanks, James. Yeah, that is because it's officially supposed to be my last day. Um, yes. Wow, yes. Italy. So yeah. Oh, well, oh how lovely. lovely. We want more of you and Sky thing in as well. A nice duet. Yeah. Okay. We can try that. Are you talking about me? Are you talking about Roddy? Because yeah. Roddy, you, uh, Roddy, Roddy Sky, Roddy, yeah. all a big sing off. Hi, Roddy. Oh uh, yeah. Are you Are you planning? Did Did you wear the coat when it snows? Someone's just thrown in. I think that's Mike actually, but. Yeah, I kept this coat. This was the coat that I um, obviously was supposed to be coming to Potters. Do you remember when it really snowed? And this was the yeah. coat that I used. And no one believed I could get there. So I kept it as a momentum. <laughs> Memento. I'm glad. <laughs> James, you might be told to go now. Jack. Uh, Jeff. Hello, Jeff. All right, James. Right, what are you using now, James? I'm on my, I'm on, I'm, I'm on my iPad now. Hello. Oh, Jeff, right. James, you can go now. Can I be in your poem, Jeff? It'll get a poem next time. Right, let's see if you work. Let's see if this works better. Can you hear me? Not my very phone. loud. Hold on a sec, because I've come on both. That's it. Can you hear me? Right. Yes, yeah. I can hear you when you get close where, to it. Where do you want me to start? Well, no, start from the beginning, mate. We only got the hullabaloo, and then he went, you faded. Corona madness, then it says. It started right. with a mild cough, maybe a sneeze or two. Who would have guessed it's a virus? that's called such hullabaloo. The government started to panic, confused how to deal with this puzzle, making crap up as they went along, caught in a real bum fuzzle. <laughs> Lockdown was the answer. They felt, that, they felt that they can't trust us rabble, keep them in their houses. They can all get by with some scrabble. The press get on my nerves. I do believe they're all dicks. 
they think they know more than scientists. They think they talk. I think they talk fiddle sticks. <laughs> Squeeze they it out for a walk, for a share and some very nice smells, admiring the lovely spring weather and the gorgeous bluebells. Some idiots still go out instead of joining Brewers Quiz. We have some names for them. Pillocks, Cretins, Numpties. <laughs> that was a bad link. <laughs> Quiz and Numpties. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, I don't cool. reckon this virus is new. It's been on Earth before. Millions of years ago. Maybe it killed a dinosaur. <laughs> Keep your face covered, they say. Wear a gown if you have the set. If not, grab a pair of clean knickers and get protection from the gusset. <laughs> <laughs> it works, look. Oh, well done, Jeff. It works. Hold on. Go on. Boris has had an idea to eat us yeah. out of these troubles. We can nominate 10 people to see. They call it social bubbles. Life could be worse, I suppose. I could be arrested and put in the slammer. Not many things could be worse except for being a hammer. You knew, Boo. you typical gooner, giving me a hard time at the very end. Jeff, it's Simon says, yes, this is brilliant. Well done, mate. And obviously Mary said as well just now. Sorry about Jeff, the admission. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but then it, it's, it, this is the point. We're all going live, so we don't know how we can freeze stop. It happened to me the other day, didn't it? So uh, I went totally fr uh, frozen and Jeff carried on talking, bless him. Amber Hardy says that was really good. Uh, Christine says, brilliant, Jeff. They go on and on. Carol Patience is applauding. Get the um, new words in and we'll do another one, if you like. We'll have a day. Uh, shall we try and do it at the weekend? Yeah, it'd be great. And Maureen, Andrew says, I love the knickers, Jeff. Only £10 to charity, yeah. of course, and I'll send them to her. Yes, that's all you've got to do. I'm going to still find out who got the highest score for my quiz. I've got me, some... me. No, you got 46, Jeff. People got 48. Someone said 49, but I didn't know if they were joking. I'm or. Still I need... winning... I'm, I'm still winning. You're better than a 10-year-old, don't Well, you are tying with Colin Reynolds, but on the point of that, you're only tying the amount of questions eight you actually did it in 45 seconds so yes. in theory you are in the lead yes you are in the lead um and also we don't know what happened to colin reynolds he he actually <laughs> he went <laughs> he went blank so he answered me with just his voice so i think he was just sort of check checking on the answers yeah can't have that clicking them all probably set up alexa or something and then he was <laughs> listening to it in his ear but um jeff once again we'll try and do it i'll ask some people some more words thank you to paul is that your brother-in-law do you say brother-in-law yeah Part so yeah it's a bubble bubble fuzzle okay. i'm gonna say thanks jeff thanks for coming on mate nice no. to talk to you Bum take bubble. care so jeff did the quiz and he's done it again another challenge so we need more words so we can bring him back at the weekend. We'll probably try him on Saturday. And uh, don't forget, the news is we're doing uh, Over the Rainbow Festival. Have a look at that. That's May the 8th. That's VE Day and Celebration. It's for charity with NHS and NARS. And that is for the voluntary uh, first responders. Um, what else? Uh, we're going to start that at 10 o'clock, finish at 10 p.m. And that's going to be completely live. It's going to be chaos. Because, we, again, we don't know how that we, could, we might be slipping in and chatting while people get unfrozen and all sorts. Mike and Nigel got a lovely job. They've got to do that for the whole 12 hours. And I'm going to be sitting there waiting for a call to say, come on, have a chat. So it's going to be all of those. I've got my own children. They're going to be singing some live stuff at the Brewer's House. My wife is itching to sing. Uh, <laughs> Midnight, midnight, I can't think of the song. Walking, up to, Walking up to midnight could have been crazy. I would have preferred crazy. At least you could all sing along with crazy, couldn't you? Um, and that's it, everyone. We are trying to raise money for the NHS and NARS. That's on the 8th. And uh, if you put a pound in, Potter's Foundation, the French Foundation, are going to match that pound. So if we get Ten pounds, twenty pounds. It's obvious. If we can raise five thousand pounds, we're going to make ten thousand pounds to the charities. If we get to the maximum that you raise ten thousand pounds on April on May the eighth, we could be that we'll be doubling that to twenty thousand pounds. And uh, they're all voluntary. The first responders they.
rely totally, totally on totally rely on money coming in, um, charity money. Um, so that's another great reason to be part of that. And we've met some of the guys who've drawn, actually uh, driven the first response cars. So that's it, everyone. Thank you for joining us yesterday night. That was incredible. Do you know, at one time, Mike said, Mike, Mark, we've got, we, we got 800 people and all coming on live. And that's tremendous. So, so uh, we'll probably be doing that yet again, either next week or the week after. I'm not in tomorrow because Nigel's got his chat with some of our staff. Um, Mike, I don't know if you want to tell me who those all the staff are. I should have asked you, really, shouldn't I? Um, but uh, you could come back and let me know who's coming on tomorrow. And, uh, and that's it today, guys. I've got nothing as report. I've got one of my prizes to go and give to the top prize. I might give a prize to one of my losers. It could be my hoe. Somebody come in. Shane, Mike, Sue, and Claire Bear. So Shane Balls and Mike and Sue, to all of them. Uh, they'll be on tomorrow talking to Nigel get into that uh thank you colin reynolds for a great house party uh and we're all gonna say my wife's here she's gonna move those red roses a minute goodbye uh <laughs> reddington lovely to you talk to you jackie linda much i'm gonna say goodbye to you Bye. thank you lynn Ange, and enjoy ireland lynn Ange, she's in southern ireland lynn hawker we'll miss the brewers tomorrow oh no this is african i'm gonna i might if we get good weather carry on with the fence that's it Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for joining us. From Roddy, Sky, and my beautiful wife. Yes, that's Claire. I'm saying goodbye. See you Friday.